Because the earlier story was so short, I'm going to treat you to another cactus story. This is Travels with My Cactus, featuring Snoopy's brother, Spike. Here, Snoopy, you got a letter from your brother, Spike. Dear Brother Snoopy, life here in the desert is fine, although sometimes lonely. I guess we all need someone to talk to. Read any good books lately? If anyone saw me sitting here in the desert talking to a cactus, they'd say I was cracking up. What's wrong with talking to a cactus? Actually, he's pretty sharp. <laughs> I'm cracking up. I don't suppose you've done much traveling, have you? I'm thinking of taking a little trip and was wondering if you'd like to come if you'd care to go along. Here, you got a postcard from Spike. Dear Snoopy, my friend and I are making a painful journey across the country to see you. Painful? Why would the journey be painful? Ouch. Oh, ow. Oh, ouch. Maybe we can take turns. First I'll carry you for a little while. Then I'll carry you for a little while. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Poof. Well, I learned something. Never carry a cactus in a rubber raft. Motel vacancy. No room? Okay, then. We'll sleep outside. If your arm gets tired, let me know. Each Halloween, I sit in this pumpkin patch waiting for the great pumpkin to appear. This year, I know he's going to come. What? What was that? I heard a noise. Is it? Is it? The great pumpkin! Who? I saw him, Charlie Brown. I saw him. Last night I saw the great pumpkin. He was standing with his arms in the air like this. It was a cactus. Linus, there's a cactus standing over there in the pumpkin patch. You must have seen it. You were there on Halloween night. It was kind of dark. How can you stand it around here? They're all crazy. How would you like to fly with me and chase the Red Baron? <laughs> 